Hey guys, good morning. Andy Super here. To the left of me, I have Mark V. Jack. He heads up our in-house mortgage division here at Y2K Credit Solutions. Listen guys, I got an amazing topic to talk to you guys about. It's the buzz, right? Interest rate. Everyone is talking about it. Interest rate as is at its lowest has been in two years. It's a two years low. Yeah, two years rates. lowest right now. So listen, we're gonna dissect this. We know purchasing your home, either your first home, your second home is an exciting time. Um which I just want to make sure that you have the right data going into your deal. Um, I have Mark here. We're going to dissect interest rate. We're going to show you a chart. We're going to show you all time uh, lowest rate right now. And also we're going to dig into a little bit of credit score and how your credit score can affect your interest rate and your long term saving to the life of the loan. Right, Mark? Sure. All right. So let's get into this. We have two scenarios today. We're going to talk about an FHA and a conventional mortgage, right? Mm -hmm. All time lows, the rates, interest rates, that's, that's the buzz, right? It's the hottest thing. It's hotter than summer right now. All right. So let's go over this. Um, Mark, I'll let Mark explain this to you. So, Mark, we have two scenarios here. Sure. This is a um, purchase price. This is an FHA loan, correct? Correct. So, if you're buying your first home and your FHA, pay attention to the scenario. Go ahead, Mark. FHA loans are great first time home buyer loans. Um, in an FHA loan, you're allowed to put 3.5% down, which is a truly, you know, it, it's, it truly allows people to get into to, to a home. It's a first time home buyer's program. Really, what we wanted to do today is, is to drive home what Y2K and the mortgage side, what we really do together. Correct. So in this situation, we have a $500,000 purchase, all right? So this is your purchase price that you're purchasing your home for. After all negotiation, you and your seller agreed to purchase the home for $500,000. Truly. You're gonna put your 3.5% down, you're gonna put 17,500 will be your down payment. In this scenario, you're borrowing $482,000, $482,500. Now this is really where it gets important. Correct. So, Let's say that you have 600 credit and you walk in the door into my office and say, hey Mark, I got 600 credit, I want to get this house. I look at you and I tell you, your interest rate at 600 is 4.5%. Your credit score being at a 600, your rate's going to be 4.5%. Now, that makes your monthly payment $2,445. Now this is really where the magic comes in. Same exact situation now. You work with Andy at Y2K. He gets your score up to a 660, working together. All three of us in this scenario, all of us are working together. He starts to tell me your credit's rising. Once you get to a 660, look at the difference in rate. Now three I'm offering you 3.5%. 3.5%, a full point lower on your interest rate. That monthly payment ends up being $2,167. The difference, $278, it's almost $300 a month difference in those two payments. I can't express how important that is because if you look at it in terms of the life of the loan, it's a hundred and five thousand dollar difference That's between That's how much you're saving. The life of the loan between those two credit scores. So really what we're trying to show you here is credit score is very Plays important. A big factor, correct. And when you work with us, we work in conjunction to make sure that we get your score exactly where we need to to lock you at the lowest rate. So this is our FHA scenario. So we so before we go into the conventional, guys, I've spoken about this multiple times in our video. I, I did videos about it, I did posting about it. Before you purchase your first home, it's better to rehab your credit. Make sure you, your credit score is at the max, no negative, so you go into the deal first time with a good deal. Right? So just make sure your credit is where it needs to be. Because Correct. now you buy the house now at this score, life happens, you lose your job, you get more debts, your score tanks, you cannot refi this mortgage. No bank's gonna take it. And if they do, the rate's gonna be higher, right? Correct. So the savings is very important. You can use this money for a lot of other things. Maybe you purchase your second home. Who knows? Right? Now we're gonna go into a conventional scenario if you're purchasing a conventional uh if you do a conventional mortgage. This scenario what we're doing is five hundred thousand dollars. We're doing five percent down on this loan, right? So that's twenty five thousand dollars. We're we're borrowing four hundred and seventy five thousand dollars on a conventional loan. You walk into my office, let's say you have a 620 credit score, you haven't done anything with your credit, I go through, I give you my best rate, 5.5% right now because of your credit score being 620. A lot of risk at a 620 score. 55 is your interest rate. Monthly payment is 2697 Now follow me here. That's payment of interest, by Principal and interest. Not insurance, not taxes. Principal and interest. Bare payment and interest. Now, this is where it gets exciting. You work with Andy, you, we work as a team. Andy gets you up to a 681 credit score. So we're working together. You're starting to look at houses. We know we need a 681. Andy's got everything lined up to get you to that score. Bang, you have a 681 score. Same exact scenario, same scenario, $475,000. 3.99 is your rate. Monthly payment is $2,265. 
That is $432 a month difference between those two loans. $135,000 difference over the life of the loan. $135,000. stress. That it's, it's, it's plain in front of you. The difference in the credit score and how it drives your monthly payment is huge. That is why it's imperative to work with Y2K and we all work with the team to make that happen. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you a quick chart so that you can actually see where the 30-year interest rates have been over the last couple of years. So guys, you know, we all hear the saying, you know, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. It's the, that's another hot topic. N numbers don't lie. And these numbers are factual numbers based off of your credit score. So if anyone is telling you, oh, I could fund you at 580, yeah, they can do that. But what are you getting out of it? What are you saving? You're, go you're going into a hole that you, you will not be able to get out of. Okay, so what you're seeing here, this is a chart of the 30-year fixed rate um, average mortgage rates in America starting in 2014 and bringing us all the way to 2019 and current, right? So what I want you to focus on is you see 2017. Look at the rates coming straight across. We are the lowest that we've been since basically the end of 2016, early 2017. The important piece to know here, look exactly where we are. Now is the time to purchase. We are actually seeing a dip in interest rates, the lowest in two years. More importantly, the Federal Reserve is about to meet in July and almost everybody anywhere is telling you that the Fed is gonna cut interest rates again. If the Fed really does cut interest rates again, this number is gonna go even lower. Now is the time to jump in the market. These are going to be historically low, low, low rates. So guys, to recap, you saw we gave you two scenarios, FHA and a conventional, same purchase price. The difference was the credit score and the savings. Um, Mark, you wanna to touch on anything else? Only thing I wanna hammer home is exactly what Andy said. Everyone's gonna tell you they can get you a loan. Everybody, we can get you a loan at 550, but the reality is the interest rate that you are going to get, you will not want that for the life of the loan. Correct. That is not the way that you wanna set things up for your future. The way that you wanna do this is come into Y2K, we figure out where your score is right now. Correct. You, your family, Andy and I, we all work as a team to get your score exactly where we want it to be so that I can get you the best interest rate. There is no better place to do it. We're one team. You see the numbers. We'll make it happen for you. And guys, stay tuned for our next video. We're going to speak about you control your lock. This is very important because a lot of lenders do not follow it. And I'll explain to you why in the next video. And we have a few other topics we want to speak about why this topic of interest rate is the hottest, buzzest the hottest topic and the buzz in the market right now. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Thank you.